Graduates, please be seated. Good evening, Mrs. Dyer, distinguished guests, parents, friends, and family, and most of all, the senior class. It is an honor and privilege to welcome all of you to the Wall High School 2017 commencement ceremony. I would like to begin tonight's program by introducing an exceptional young man who has made a significant impact on Wall High School, specifically in our NNDCC program. It is with great pleasure that I introduce Zachary Lorch, who will be attending Indiana University in the fall and will lead us in the salute to our nation's flag. stand. Will everyone please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. Please be seated. Thank you, Zachary. Our choir will be introduced by Ryan Newsom. Ryan is an inquisitive and skilled young man. He is passionate about music and is an excellent vocalist. He has shared his talent through several school performances during his time at Wall. He holds himself to a high standard and is intrinsically motivated. Ryan has demonstrated that he truly enjoys the learning process and it is fitting that he will study music education at West Westminster Choir College in the fall. Please draw your attention to the chorus and welcome Ryan and the chorus. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 
For the class of 2017's graduation ceremony, the Wall High School Chorus wanted to perform a song that brought out a lot of the values from this year's theme. We wanted to sing about strength, determination, and passion, and how they reside in each and every one of us sitting here today. And we couldn't think of a better song than Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. We want you all to know that you have the power to change the world one bit at a time, and that change all starts with you. When you look into the mirror, know that the person staring back at you can make the world a better place. With that being said, this song goes out to all the dreamers in the crowd. I hope you all will enjoy our song, and I hope that the graduating class of 2017 never stops chasing the dreams. A sincere thank you goes out to Ryan and our students in the choir under the direction of Mrs. Ellen Hollander for that outstanding performance. Next, I would like to recognize the distinguished members of the school district and our community who are here with us this evening and through their continued efforts, create the support system necessary for our students to flourish. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. If I could ask the audience to hold your applause until everyone is called. 
Superintendent of Schools, Mrs. Cheryl Dyer. President of the Board of Education, Mrs. Allison Connolly. Vice President of the Board of Education, Mrs. Robin Zawadniak. Board of Education members, Mr. Ralph Adonisio. Mr. Ernest Bongiovanni. Mrs. Robin Lynch. Mr. Michael MacArthur. Mrs. Dory Malloy. The Mayor of Wall Township, Mr. Nick DiRocco. Committee Woman, Mrs. Amory Conti. Our District Administration, Principal of Allenwood School, Dr. Erin O'Connell. Principal of Central School, Mrs. Jill Antonello. Principal of West Belmar School, Mr. Anthony Abiel. Principal of Wall Intermediate School, Mrs. Erin Embon. Assistant Principal, Wall Intermediate School, Ms. Tiffany Steiner. Assistant Principal, Wall Intermediate School, Mr. John Pagano. Director of Special Education, Mrs. Carol Duffy. Intermediate Supervisor, Dr. Ken Coons. Elementary Special Education Supervisor, Mrs. Monica Butler. Elementary Supervisor, Mrs. Rachel Lella. Elementary Supervisor, Mrs. Kathy Brenner. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the Wall High School Administrative Team who join us on the dais for their dedication and commitment to the students at Wall High School. Assistant Principal, Mr. Kevin Davis. Assistant Principal, Mrs. Kristen Scott. Director of Guidance, Mrs. Katie Misa. Director of Athletics, Mr. Tom Redoux. STEM Supervisor, Mrs. Laura Kerman. Humanities Supervisor, Dr. Tracy Skinner. Special Education Supervisor, Dr. Nancy Samaha. And I would also like to recognize two of our dedicated teachers for serving as class advisors for four years for the senior class. Welcome Mrs. Colleen Wisher, and Mr. Mike Jeska. It is with great honor that I introduce to you Kaylin Kiwi to deliver tonight's welcome address. Kaylin Kiwi is a wonderful young woman with a big personality. Evidence of Kaylin's reputation and leadership ability can be found in her role as the student representative to the Board of Education, among numerous other positions she holds in various school organizations. She generously offers her time to help improve the school community. She has been a positive force here, and I'm confident that this will continue wherever she goes. Kaylin plans to study food marketing and communications at St. Joseph's University in the fall. Please welcome Kaylin Kiwi. Thank you. Class of 2017, congratulations, you made it. This day, this moment in time that has always seemed so far away has finally arrived. It's bittersweet this moment, graduation, a formal transition from childhood to adulthood. It's a time to reflect on the years you've had and prepare for the years ahead of you. A time to take all the knowledge you've been given and all the lessons you've learned and carry them forward into the future. We're all about to embark on a brand new journey. Some of us are ready and excited to start anew, or if you're like me, you've been dreading this since the first grade. Whether you're staying close or journeying across the country, your lives are about to change drastically. Change is hard, as we're creatures of habit. We like our same spot in the senior lot every day and our same locker every year. The best way to embrace this new change in our life is to carry forward our lessons from the past into the future. My time at Wall High School has taught me two very important lessons. The first is to learn from your mistakes. It seems like we've heard this quote every single day since kindergarten, but it's true. From little things like learning not to get Chipotle 10 minutes before practice or not rolling up to school at 718 expecting to get a spot, to big things like where we want to go to college or what we want to do with the rest of our lives. Of course, before we learned this, we had to make these mistakes for ourselves. We all fail, but it does not matter how many times you fall, it's about how many times you're able to pick yourself back up again. My second lesson is quite possibly the most important of all. Never forget where you came from. It is in this very gym where we started and now end our high school careers. Four years ago, we sat in this gym about to graduate eighth grade, feeling in the exact same way as we do today. Some were feeling nervous and sad, while others were extremely excited. But over the course of four years, this place has developed into our home. From late night practices, to dress rehearsals, to pep week, to state championships, we have spent countless hours here doing what we love. 
Though we will walk out of the school today as Wall High School alumni, this place will always hold a special place inside our hearts. Graduates, I ask you now to please look into the stands. You see your parents, grandparents, friends, aunts, uncles, cousins, and so many other people who have supported you along the way. They stayed with you in late nights and early mornings, and they gave you a shoulder to cry on. They cheered you on in your best and worst moments. Without them, you may not have made it here today. I now ask you to look to the left and right of your aisles and to the dais. You see your teachers and administrators who have given you all the knowledge and advice they could to ensure you a great future. They care about you both as students and as people. They've gone above and beyond to get you to where you are today. And now graduates, I ask you to look around you. You see your classmates, your friends, your teammates, and so many other people who make the class of 2017 so special. They have all been in your lives in some way or another. Appreciate them. These are the kids you grew up with. No matter where you go in your lives, you always have the memories from these last years together. Through all the laughing, crying, yelling, celebrating, and everything in between, always remember that one thing remained constant, Wall High School. As they say in High School Musical, we truly are all in this together. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2017. Thank you, Kaylin. As part of the Wall High School tradition, we recognize the top 10 students in the graduating class and award them with academic medals. Receiving one signifies a huge accomplishment when you consider the academic rigor of course offerings at Wall High School and our level of competition among the student body. Our students have distinguished themselves when compared with other students throughout the state. These students will in fact be attending some of the finest institutions in the country next year. Mr. Kevin Davis and Mrs. Kristen Scott will assist me in presenting these awards. Please hold your applause until all 10 students have been recognized. I will be calling the students to the podium in descending order. Emily Surgent. Jessica Ridley. Andrea Capone. Kristen Carbon, Colleen Kelly, Olivia O'Sullivan, Shannon Foley, Kristen Swan. Our salutatorian, Bridget Foley, and our valedictorian, Jeremy Ridley. I would next like to introduce an exceptional member of the senior class who will be acknowledging the students who have received either an honor or a scholarship this past year. Carly Layton is a bright young woman who is well liked by our faculty and her peers. She is a team player and has a healthy competitive spirit. She appreciates the opportunities Wall High School has afforded her and she leads by example. She is enthusiastic about her education and plans to continue being a positive influence as she heads off to study social work at Brookdale Community College, where she will also be playing softball. Please help me welcome Carly Layton. To 
to the students of Wall High School class of 2017, it sure has been a ride. I would not be the person I am today without every single person sitting in front of me, and I will cherish all the beautiful memories we have made. We could not have finished this journey without the help and support from so many people at Wall High School. I know as a class, we are ready to take on the world. Four years ago, we came to Wall High School as dreamers, but now we are able to take that dream, leap into life, and create and conquer our own new world. With so much love and belief in this community, this school, and in this class, it's almost impossible not to succeed. Here today, there are many graduates who have received scholarships, not only from colleges they will attend, but also local community groups this year. These scholarships total approximately $3.5 million. These seniors were recognized for their academic, artistic, and extracurricular accomplishments at our awards dinner held on June 1st. We would like to ask all those graduates to stand and be recognized for their achievements one more time. Thank you, and please be seated. You can please be seated. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. I take great pride in introducing our next speaker, the valedictorian of the class of 2017, Jeremy Ridley. <laughs> Throughout Throughout his four years at Wall High School, Jeremy has displayed true character and leadership in student government, National Honor Society, Latin National Honor Society, and as a member of our first graduating class from the Pre-Engineering Academy, while also being honored as an Eagle Scout through Boy Scouts of America. His competitive drive placed him on our varsity boys tennis team, mock trial team, and science competition team, while holding various roles in volunteer and community services. Without any question, his academic achievements speak loud, and Jeremy leads the class of 2017 as valedictorian. He will be attending Georgetown University next fall, majoring in chemistry. Good evening, graduates. Today marks the conclusion of one journey and the beginning of another, of moving on from one dream to the next. Let's pause this evening to thank our parents and families, our teachers and administrators, and the Wall Township community for their continued support, time, and belief in our potential. Everyone sitting in this audience has some sort of dream. Some dreams start as early as kindergarten, inspired by teachers like Mrs. Rosselli or Mrs. Kraus. Other dreams aren't realized until high school. These dreams that we conjure vary from person to person. It could be attending a four-year university, enlisting in the military, going to trade school, or simply just figuring out what to do with the rest of one's life. Given all of these possibilities, however, one thing is certain. Across the country this week, there are thousands more ceremonies just like this one, with other families in the bleachers, other young people in caps and gowns, and other hopes and dreams in the hearts of the graduates. So, how will this one be different? How will our choices tonight and beyond contribute to who we become tomorrow? How will we, the Wall High School class of 2017, make our mark? Well, if you list our class's accomplishments, it is pretty clear that we've already begun to do just that. We have a group three girls soccer co-championship, a football championship, and a boys golf championship, to name a few. We have classmates whose art is hanging up in Washington, D.C., and classmates who have played in symphonies. We have students attending Stanford and the University of Pennsylvania. And we finally won hall decorating. <laughs> All of these achievements are significant and pretty remarkable for just one year. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Still. An, ever, an even bigger question remains. How will we make our mark in the future? Unfortunately, I don't have an automatic answer to that question. I don't know what we will accomplish as a generation or as individuals. 
I don't know what decisions we will make, what paths we will follow, or what results we will achieve. But I do know this. All too often, when people our age have an idea, a mission, or a goal, when they dream, they are shut down by those around them, by people who tell them that their ideas won't work. And all too often, these people who do not believe in us, these people who tell us no, too often, these people are adults. And these adults are considered to be authorities only because they've grown up, or because, as they tell us, they've seen the, wor seen the world. After a certain age, apparently you gain this power to tell when a young person's idea is less that of an innovative researcher and more of a mad scientist. These folks are convinced that what we are dreaming of and hoping for is all just that, a dream, intangible and unattainable. Because they're older, they must be right, right? Well, it doesn't always have to be that way. Consider the words of Harriet Tubman. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always, rem always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. We should look to these words as an example to live by. No matter the doubt of others, of those who want you to fail and to fall, just look inside yourself. All dreams start with a spark, a flame. I urge you, don't let that flame go out. Don't let your dreams be extinguished. Babe Ruth struck out 1,330 times on his way to hitting a record-setting 714 home runs. Thomas Edison discovered 1,800 incorrect ways to make a light bulb on the path to inventing one that worked effectively. And Alice Paul suffered imprisonment, abuse, and oppression before being influential in passing the 19th Amendment, giving women the vote, and later in campaigning for the Equal Rights Amendment. These individuals did not let their failures get in the way of their dreams. They had the patience to stay the course and keep at their goals until they reached them, enduring struggles and hardships. They had passion, championed their causes, and wanted to change the world. And of course, they had strength. They didn't back down in the face of adversity and trouble. They embraced the words of Harriet Tubman, and the trees of their dreams bore a bountiful fruit. So I urge you, class of 2017, keep making your mark. Whenever someone tries to hold you back, know that within you lies the power to do great things. In the end, it doesn't matter where you go, or even what you do, but rather, what you make of it. So keep dreaming. It's the only surefire way to change this world, and for the better. Congratulations, Wall High School Class of 2017. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. I would like to present you with this plaque that acknowledges your success at Wall High School and your participation in tonight's commencement ceremony. The plaque reads, Jeremy Ridley, valedictorian. Each year, the graduating class presents our school with a gift. This gift signifies the appreciation and gratitude that the students feel towards the Wall Township School District and more specifically, towards Wall High School. Presenting the gifts are two exceptional students, Andrea Capone, who will be attending the University of Southern California and will be majoring in communications, and Eamon Fogler, who will be continuing his education at North Carolina State University. Over the past four years, Wall High School has presented us with every possible opportunity to succeed. Whether it is in the classroom, on the playing field, or in one of the countless clubs and activities going on around school, we have all experienced so much in preparation for the road ahead. Without the help of all the teachers, coaches, administrators, and of course our class advisors, Mrs. Wisher and Mr. Jessica, we would still be in the same position we were when we first started, lost. But through it all, with the guidance of these great people, we are now noticing how special these years are and will be forever. To keep such a tradition of excellence and pride among our school and community, our senior class of 2017 would like to present Wall High School with picnic tables inscribed, Wall High School, class of 2017, that will be enjoyed in the courtyard at the high school to commemorate our class. Thank you and congratulations, fellow graduates.
It is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, who has earned the honor of salutatorian of the class of 2017. Throughout her four years at Wall High School, Bridget Foley has attained the level of a high honor roll student and membership to the National Honor Society and the Latin Honor Society. She received summa cum laude honors recognition by earning a top score on the National Latin Exam. She has been successful in completing many honors, advanced placement, and dual enrollment college courses. Bridget enjoys all subject areas, but is especially interested in the area of business. She is a student member of the Wall Business and Finance Academy and, DECA part and, and a DECA participant. She is a vigorous leader in the Interact Club, SAD, and Student Council. In addition, Bridget is a dedicated sports enthusiast for Wall High School while managing the boys' basketball team and is a community volunteer with a special focus at the West Belmar Elementary School. Bridget is an outstanding student, a genuine leader, and an amazing young woman. Bridget will be attending Boston College in the fall. Her plans are to major in business administration and to one day be CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Please join me in welcoming Bridget Foley. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and my fellow graduates. As many of you know, I'm an identical twin, so before I start, I just want to take a minute and soak it in because I think this officially means that I'm the prettier and smarter twin. Um, the ceremony is held in our honor, but first I want to take a minute to thank everyone who helped us get here. High school was much more than shuffling from class to class, and when we look back on these years, we're going to remember the people we once knew the most, those who shaped us and helped us grow. So thank you to these people, parents, teachers, coaches, custodians, siblings, and friends. Thank you for expecting much of us, reminding us of our potential, and never doubting our capabilities. We are who we are today because of the indispensable efforts you invested in us. Our graduation theme entailed the chasing of dreams, which is fitting because you all instilled in us the self-confidence needed to make that prospect possible. We reaped what all of you sowed for us. Our success is your success. An all too common phrase associated with high school is that these would be the best four years of our lives. An aspect of truth does resonate with this statement because while high school has provided us with memories that will last a lifetime, but I refuse to believe it fully. There have been some good times and some bad times, but better times await us. This past year alone, the full aptitude of this class has been illuminated, whether it be through academic accolades, short conference titles, or state championships. This class is destined for greatness, greatness that has already begun to bud, and I know you will all continue to shock the world with your talent and hard work. 2017 will be remembered as the year Wall regained its preeminence. Today is no small feat. We set the bar high, challenging and daring future classes to set it even higher. The thought of giving advice in my speech didn't sit entirely, <laughs> didn't sit entirely right with me. Many people can give better advice, people who are older and wiser, more educated, and more experienced. I won't bore you with the ruminations of an 18-year-old who knows just as little about what's out there as the next. I could give some aesthetically pleasing words of wisdom, but frankly, we don't need it. Uh, it's by no mere accident or coincidence. Our class has accomplished mer remarkable things. Um, if our successes are any indicators of what we will accomplish in the future, then the future looks bright. Uh, we didn't have a say in where we grew up. None of us chose to live in Wall Township. That being said, I'm grateful to have gotten the chance to know all of you. Uh, and as we enter the real world, we finally do have a say and a sense of control over our lives. We can choose what we want to do and where we want to go. It's scary because we face so many uncertainties in the immediate and distant future, but I have no doubt in my mind we will find our way. We leave here with all the knowledge we've gathered in these halls or in avoiding them. Put it to good use, but don't rely solely on it. Add to it, apply it, uh, use it to make a difference, and above all, pay it forward. Four years ago, you could have told me I would be sad at my graduation and I would have laughed at you. Right up until that last minute before the final bell rung at 202, high school felt like an eternity. And then the bell rung, and it was over, just like that, all ready to take on the world. And as much as I never thought I'd look back on my years at Wall High and remember only the good times, and as hard as it is for me to admit, I think I will. I'm going to miss you all a lot. We've been together from the very beginning, and we've come a long way. I'm super proud of the people we've become, and we honestly couldn't have done it without each other. When I look out, I see an amazing group of young adults, still ratty as ever, but even more confident and sure of ourselves. We made it. so. Best of luck in life to the class of 2017. Remember your roots, and one last time, let's make it a great day to be a knight.
Thank you, Bridget. I would like to present you with this plaque that acknowledges your success at Wall High School and your participation in tonight's commencement ceremony. The plaque reads, Bridget Foley, salutatorian. At this time, I would like to ask Jane Stout to join me at the podium. Jane Stout is a charismatic young lady with a contagious positive spirit. She embodies a passion for the artistic craft of photography and can frequently be seen capturing pictures of our students' achievements and memorable milestones in the classroom, at sporting events and at award ceremonies. Jane has an artistic eye behind the camera and has been recognized for her craft at the local and county levels. Jane's most proud accomplishment is when she was honored to showcase her work for the Monmouth County Festival of Arts as the youngest participator in the history of the event. With these accomplishments, Jane plans to bring her craft and further develop her passion to New York City this fall. Jane will be attending Pace University as an art major with a concentration in photography. Please help me welcome Jane. I'd like to thank our class advisors, Mrs. Wisher and Mr. Jessica, for the endless support you have given us over the years that helped us throughout high school and led us to the stage today. Your hard work and persistence with our class has provided us with cherished memories. Your patience to continuously push back timelines and accommodate students allowed more of us to attend all of our unforgettable senior activities. Many students in the class wanted me to highlight the Disney trip when our advisors, along with Ms. Sergio and Mrs. Scott, worked countless hours to change our flight plan when New Jersey was entering into a state of emergency. Instead, you jumped on a bus with us the day before we were supposed to leave, and the students were enjoying the sunshine in the pool hours before the, they were originally supposed to land. On behalf of the senior class, we would like to present to you with a plaque to remember how much you are appreciated. The plaque reads, 2017 class advisors, thank you for your support and dedication. Thank you, Jane. I am honored to be here tonight as the principal of Wall High School celebrating the graduation of the class of 2017. Graduates, as you embark on new challenges, I applaud you on achieving this important milestone in your lives. You are ambitious, dedicated, driven, and compassionate. I encourage you to continue to be independent thinkers and dream big. Today is a day to celebrate. Fireworks have long been associated with celebrations. They add an exciting touch to any big event, lighting up the sky with both power and beauty. Today, we celebrate our graduates as they leave Wall High School, each carrying a unique set of skills and talents, each with his or her own unique brand of genius. This unique brand of genius will manifest in as many ways as there are students graduating. Some will show their genius in their interest in science or math, some in art and music, some in the area of community service, and some will show this genius with a special ability to love and help others. But whatever path you choose to embark after your time at Wall High School, one thing is for certain. Each of you is capable of lighting up his or her corner of the world like fireworks in a night sky. Graduates, I am extremely proud of you. I will miss you, and I know that you will continue to find what you are passionate about and pursue it with vigor and a sense of purpose. I have no doubt that I will be hearing about your success as young adults, as doors to continue to open for you, continue to dream big. Congratulations to the class of 2017. It is my honor to introduce the superintendent of the Wall Township School District, Mrs. Cheryl Dyer. Good 
evening, graduates and all members of the Walt Township Public Schools community. It is indeed a great day to be a knight. I'm happy to be here this evening to celebrate this important milestone with you and share some thoughts on this auspicious occasion. I think the theme of this year's graduation is perfect. As Harriet Tubman and your valedictorian stated, every dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patient, passion, and the patience to reach for the stars to change the world. It immediately reminded me of this quote from Jack Kerouac that was used by Apple Computer in 1997. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them, but the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. <clears throat> because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Each and every one of you has the potential to change the world in which you live. Your actions, reactions, decisions, and indecisions have a ripple effect on the present and the future and set the wheels of change in motion. I challenge you to think differently and to push the human race forward. I congratulate you on your accomplishments and celebrate your successes with you and your families. As superintendent of the Wall Township Public Schools, I accept Ms. Sergio's recommendation that all students seated before us have met the requirements for high school graduation as specified by the Wall Township Board of Education and the great state of New Jersey. And I certify that they are eligible to receive diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the graduating class of 2017. Thank you, Mrs. Dyer. I would now like to invite the senior class advisors, Mrs. Colleen Wisher and Mr. Mike Jeska, to come up to the podium and read the names of our graduates. If I could ask, please hold your applause until all names have been read. Thank you. Seniors, prepare for graduation. Andrea Capone, Chad Owen McClellan, Bridget Foley, Nicholas Robert Bennett, Shannon Foley, Stephen Michael Marchese, Colleen Claire Kelly, Zachary John Lurch, Emily Susan Surgent, Dakota Dobrovich Fago, Katie McGill, Christopher David Stone, Aaron Clabby, Nicholas James Wagner, Jacqueline Nicole Wetzel, Benjamin Daniel Kernis. Jessica Virginia Ridley, Jeremy David Ridley, Kristen Hope Carmen, 
Eamon Fogler. Olivia Rose O'Sullivan. John Ross Silva. Kristen Swan. Justin Todd Hetzel. Carly Ann Layton. Jose Ariza. Natalie Patricia Springle. Henry Paul Schlotsky. Alexandra Santanello. Kirk Bennett. Jenna Rose Ricchetti. Nicholas K. Wynn. Samantha Lynn Rapacano. Sahil Parikh. Mary Elizabeth Paris, Elijah R. Watkins, Danielle Marie Rocco, John Vuxanek, Carla F. Munoz, Paul Lawrence Greco, Brina M. McGill, Davian Van Gordon, Laurel Jacks, Evan Gackis, Allison Grace Ferry, Jared Lewis, Cynthia Lynn Capitosto, Andrew Michael McClinsky, Jenna Rose Aviano. Nicholas McFarlane, Sabrina Marie Valerio, Michael G. Hine, Catherine Reynolds, Noah Thomas Hasco, Destiny Rose Arroyo, Jacob Neil Guevara, Heidi Nava, Robert James Clark, Jamie Arlene Vendemia, Anthony Ferreira, Anahi Feliz, Mia Vaccaro, Carlos John Sedino III. Jessica Diane Texter, Caleb Helke, Anya Claire Swinkowski, Nicholas Del Russo, Sarah Swan, Alexander Cortez, Margaret Ann Strollo, Ryan Sean Venice, Michelle Claire Sankowski. Joseph Matthew McKenzie. Nicole Alyssa Shirelli. Anthony Xander Diamante. Izet Reyes Alvarado. Ryan Michael DeGraw. Morgan Rose Plisky. Richard James Weirdo. Jill Ann Krikorian. <laughs> Joseph Nicholas Stillo. <laughs> Lindsay Allison Meikle. Ryan Michael Valente. Emily Lynn McGill. Matthew Totero. Kerry Colleen McDonough, Jacob Gerald Thompson, Tyler Corinne McMillan, Jari N. Sunnerill, Carly Joy O'Connell, John Steinbach, Michaela Koval, Shane Patrick Ritchie. Jamie Catherine Hatch. 
Matthew M. Ramez. Jessica Gutierrez. Trevor James Noon. Chloe Samantha Goodman. Philip Charles Nesbahal. Jennifer Gonzalez. Colton Merzda. Ashley Elizabeth Glenn. Christopher Maselli. Tamaya Lorraine Yule. Thomas Breckenridge Jenkins. Martha Nicole Dyer. Dominic James Graziano. Marissa Cortinas. Ryan Patrick Gordon. Julia Cortinas. Omar L. Abedin. Kayla Kodakovi. Matthew C. Teresia. Amanda Nicole Kecki. Donato Michael Cavuto. Louisa C. Calabrese. Thomas Anthony Carr. Bridget Bresnahan. Robert James Buckalow. Laura Elizabeth Badger. Brenna Dawn Are. Brody Allen Smith. Maura McGowan. Sahil Patel. Samantha Nicole Carnes. Richard Anthony Cephalo. Jane Caroline Stout. Luke Christopher Piazza. Abigail Throckmorton. Shane Michael Havilland. Anna Subashi. Edward Francis DeStefano. McKenna Rose Cummings. Andrew Edward Casenza. Nicole Catherine Skelly. Andrew Joseph Chapman. Ava Grace Sedaducato. Jack Swan. Brielle Victoria Sachs. Michael J. Tauti. Colleen Elizabeth Rushnak. Joseph John Saves. Kaylin Ann Kiwi. Alex Patrick Smith. Roshni Patel. Sean Edgar Shepard. Cassidy Erin Nichols. Ryan J. Skurik. Emily Kendall Lucchese. Gavin Savage. Briar Nicole Maroney. Sean Michael O'Donnell. Paige S. Lorimer. Jesse Rain Armstrong, Kelly Kramer, David Robertson, Megan Colleen Newberry, Seth Queen. Lindsay Marie Kardashian, James Kyle Litton, Christy Camaris, John D. Murray, Gabrielle Icabelli, Daniel Luis, Brianna Havilan, Kevin Leniper, 
Jessica J. Diaz Sanchez. Richard Kersey. Nicole Dixon. Robert Morosis. Krista Ann Foss. Christopher Gerard Pruno. Natalie Ray Janusa. Tate Ryan Peterson. Gusta Hayes. John William Perino. Cara Margaret Gallagher. Blake Foster. Morgan Lee Butchko. Daryl Valme. Michaela Christine Crimes. Shane Davis. Kennedy Eileen Griffin. Henry W. Cadwell. Amelia Carlson. Kieran Patrick McInnes. Madison Brand. Richard J. Tilton. Dakota Kane Donahue. Darian J. Valme. Grace Ann Cassidy. Anthony R. Shin. Haley Niedenstein. Alex Sarita. Aniel Marin Duritza. Taylor Charles Ossenfort. Julia Lucille Cohen. Ryan McGill. Morgan Michael Ajak. Christopher Daniel Jensen. Chelsea Mary Rager. Sean Larkin. Shana Ray Donner. Andrew Joseph Cutton. Madison Nicole Philos. Connor Kessler. Kylie Shea Forster. Nolan Cloney. Erica Alicia Gathman. Colin Douglas. Taylor Lee Kramer. Martin James Terry. Emily Grace Latshaw. Timothy P. Blaney. Nisha Carr. Nikem Koper. Erica Lee Morgan. Joseph Daniel DeBrito. Talia Marie Maglione. Sean Ferguson. Nina Monaco Ayarati. Kyle David Della Cardillo. Rebecca Rose McKelvey. Daniel Sky Frisch Harmon. Alexandra. Violet Panasoc. Maxwell James Grigoletto. Brianna Marie Mitrione. Luke Thomas Dockerty. Caitlin Nicole Pepe. Clarence Celius. Brianna Watson. Gregory John Burke. Julia Marie Piancone. John William Swennerton. Hannah Elizabeth Sorelli. Evan Raymond Slocum. 
Bryn Catherine Toombs. Jean Scott. Leanne Page Donnelly. Richard G. Quenz Jr. Christine Joy Banzon. William R. Kettle. Margot Bernard. Nicholas DiStefano. Madison Marie Birch. Daniel Jacob Gunther. Kylie Amanda Brannon. Jack Fay. Caitlin Comer. Shane William Kiernan. Natalia Sains. John Burney. Shannon Margaret Donnelly. Kevin James Heilman. Mia Pavone. Michael Ray Capra. Rebecca Ann Kerfis. Stephen Karanasis. Gabriella Elizabeth Aches. Troy Richard Bertolatis. Melanie Wright. John Patrick Byrne. Gianna Yvette D'Ambrose. Raymond Robert Janicek. Mary Kate Gallagher. John Vincent Fardella. Mary Kate Walter. Brian Dylan Damat. Courtney Marie Pasterchik. Marshall Reed Bitsko. Kirsten Hatch. Vincent Salvatore Campanile. Abigail Francis Dacey. Thomas Taylor. Claire Marie Eckel. Matthew Biegert. Catherine Cole. Ryan Newsom. Kayleen Susan Weiss. Gianna Nicole Grandinetti. Brittany Antoinette Marie Chester. Chelsea Joanne Judith Chester. Sayana Jenkins. <laughs> Josie DePaulo. Christian Costello. Joseph P. Belko. CJ Batista. Matt Yard. Nicholas Paluzzi. Michael Andraco. Congratulations, class of 2017. What an awesome class. I would be remiss if I failed to thank the NNDCC and band members who have played an important role in tonight's ceremony. Thank you for all of your efforts. 
Our farewell address will be delivered by Kirsten Hatch. Kirsten is an independent, kind, and creative young lady. Since entering high school, Kirsten jumped into any and all chances to perform. She has performed in chorus and choral ensembles and has participated in every school play and musical since freshman year. Her favorite theatrical experience was the lead role she played in You Can't Take It With You. Over the past couple of years, Kirsten has grown from a participator to a leader. As a member of the marching band flag team, she has helped choreograph parts of the halftime routines and encouraged fellow teammates to perform a flag routine that she created. For the Thespian Society, she again showed her leadership by being the only member that wrote an original play. Additionally, she is a member of the Literary Club, the GSA, and the Songwriting Club. Kirsten will be taking her talent to Rowan University next year, where she will major in advertising. Please help me welcome Kirsten Hatch. Before I begin my speech, I would like to thank Wall High School for all of the opportunities that I've been given, including giving this speech today. I have been dreaming of this moment since I graduated eighth grade, and this truly is an honor. Now that our days at Wall High School are coming to a close, we all must think about our futures. Some of us are staying close to home, and others are going across the country, and still others plan on pushing their boundaries even farther than that. To each and every one of you, I ask only one thing, dream. Dream of tomorrow, and dream of the next day, and dream of the days and weeks and years that come after that. Dream about what might come next, and then make it happen. Our dreams can stretch across oceans or continents, or even stay as small as the close-knit suburban town you came from. But even small dreams have the power to change the world. We need not dream about the best thing the world will ever know, only the next thing our worlds will know. As Harriet Tubman once said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. With that being said, just by sitting here today, you have all proven that you have the ability to dream. Look at yourselves. You were determined to make it to graduation day, and congratulations, you did it. Throughout our four years here, you reached for this one last shining moment in your high school career. Whether it was having the strength to get up at six in the morning every day, or the patience to sit through 84 minute periods or tests that felt like they would never end. You had the passion to learn and make it to today. This is the day that our worlds begin to change forever. When we leave here, we will no longer be the senior class of Wall High School we will be young adults ready to face and maybe even change the world. Our days at Wall High School have come to a close, and now, before the dawn of our futures, we all have a chance to rest for a little while. And with those futures in mind, I wish you all sweet dreams. Thank you, Kirsten. At this time, I would like to invite the senior class president, Jill Krikorian, to the podium to lead the class of 2017 through the transferring of the tassels. Class of 2017, will you please stand? Move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, you are now graduates. This concludes our graduation ceremony. Thank you parents and family and friends for coming and congratulations to the class of 2017. Please begin the recessional march.